It's strange. I never ever thought about buying an old screw mount Leica. For me, these cameras were old war cameras you can't use nowadays. But I saw this video of a guy called Mr. Leica, where he showed his favorite camera of 2020. It was a Leica 2F, a so-called Barnack Leica. Fully mechanical, no batteries at all. Super small, lightweight, like a point and shoot camera with screw mount and this nice rotating film transport thing. I always wanted to have an M2 or M3, but you know what? With a short look on my bank account, the price increase at the moment, and the fact that you can get a Leica 2F body with an Elmar 50mm 3.5 lens under 600 euro, I woke up the other morning with the idea of buying a camera from the 50s. And there it was, my first screw mount Leica. The first roll I shot was a complete disaster. The shutter was broken. The fast shutter speeds didn't work, so half of the roll was black. I send the camera back, and yes, I got a new model. So my first roll was actually my second one, with my second Leica 2F. I used Portra 400, and my local lab did all the developing and scanning stuff for me. And oh boy, I really like how these pictures turned out. So, is a camera from the 50s worth buying today? Is it better than an M3 or M2? I don't know. But beside all the film cutting stuff, that tiny ass rangefinder you have to look through, I really do like this type of camera. I'm fascinated by the fact that this old vintage camera is still able to produce such a nice image. And, with all the hype around the brand of Leica at the moment, it was a good investment for the future as well, maybe. Thanks for watching and please like the video. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. My name is Simbert Brouse and I love shooting film.